Couple things I like on this thing, it's a small, compact size. I like that a bunch. But overall, you know, we use uh, Husqvarna K760s, a bunch of them, and uh, you know, I would say this saw is probably gonna be right up there with them, but nothing that really sets it out from the crowd that I have noticed so far. My review of the Echo, what is it, a CSG 7410. Um, first impression right off the bat, overall a good saw. Nothing about it that really stood out to me that was just like, you know, earth, earth shattering or anything like that. Uh, there's features on it I like, there's features on it I don't like, like any saw. What we've primarily used over the past few years is uh, the Husqvarna K760 saws. We like those a lot, they've been reliable. Uh, real good price point on them and uh, you know no issues whatsoever uh, so with the echo saw once we had this um, we gave it a shot on some commercial work we were doing actually catch basin uh, parking lot catch basin repair work so we were cutting a, a bunch of asphalt and uh, cutting out around existing catch basins cutting through concrete and asphalt and all that stuff so this thing's probably got pushing about 700 linear foot of cutting on it right now We've only had it, uh, you know, on the truck for about a month, maybe. So, and of course, you know, I mean, we're not babying it. We're it's been sitting in the truck, riding around, bouncing around in the in the backpack toolbox on the one of the flatbed trucks, and uh, uh, just riding around. It's getting treated with the rest of our uh, regular gas we run through the rest of our machines, which is something to one, somewhere in the 40 to 50 range. Uh, when you got guys mixing fuel, just it ranges a little bit, right? But somewhere in there, so. A few, few things right off the bat I like about the saw. Um, it's good. It's a good compact size. I do like that. This beefy uh, water system here for wet cutting is cool. It's got your standard, you know, garden hose attachment and all that stuff there. Uh, the, the thing I, I love the most on this thing, actually, of all the crazy things, is this uh, kill switch here. It works when you push it, and it works perfectly. It doesn't. You don't have to fumble around with it or whatever. It kills it you know bam and that kill switch is legit you just tap it and it shuts off it's awesome but it's not in a way that you knock it off on accident stuff so something i'm not real big on is this choke it feels all the choke uh, you know handles and stuff are plastic on most all these of any models and makes this one feels kind of flimsy i can see this getting smashed off in the truck or on a job site or something but we'll see i don't know um i think it's really no different than the other ones so i guess it, it would probably withstand but makes me kind of uh kind of nervous there um, it starts fine, of course, but it's a brand new saw. The thing they're really touting is this uh, ultra big uh, air filter system. So that's like their big claim to fame on this thing right now. It's got a four stage air cleaner. I haven't even opened it up to see. Right now we're just running it like we would any saw, just straight out of the box, going right to work, sending out with the guys and going from there. I've cut with it a good bit. My guys have cut with it a good bit. And uh, you know, the few, again, things we like on it, things we don't like. Uh, this sight situation is kind of cool. It's kind of like a rifle, iron iron sights and rifles, like a, a rifle like that, where you line up the V and stuff like that. That's kind of cool. The only bad thing is it's not actually fixed. This thing will kind of wiggle around on here if uh, if you let it. So you got to kind of make sure it's actually almost kind of calibrated right or whatever. So that's one thing. I wish that was more of a fixed, uh, fixed point or whatever. This shield has a nice release like this where it'll... Uh, um, where you can move it around. Oops, I'm gonna sit on the thing here to move it, but it's got this release here, and then you can pull the shield. Well, maybe not. It's actually. Oh, I got. I'm pulling it the wrong way. <laughs> How about that? But the. Sh <laughs> but the shield will move like that. Um, so that's cool. A couple things that may not be so good about that. If you're cutting up against a curb or something, this thing isn't just you know loose all the time, so you can kind of conform to whatever you're needing to do with it. But. Uh, you know that's that's here nor there but I, I like the release situation so you can you know move it around as you need always do this when the saw is turned off never do it while the saw is live this thing it's a little it's a little stiff right now because like i said we've not treated this thing any different than any of our other saws so it's still covered in wet slag or slurry from you know wet cut of concrete wet cut of asphalt we haven't heard we've done no dry cutting with this thing because a that's illegal now because of the osha dust uh violations and the silica rules but um you know, so it gets that slurry all over the place, and, and I mean, you can see it's caked and coated in it, just like we 
abuse the rest of our stuff. Uh, so that's just the real, the real end of it here. Um, the fuel tank seems a bit small for it. Seems like we're refilling the thing more than normal or more than we normally do, but with like the K760, so I would like to see a larger fuel tank on it. Uh, but again, it starts easy. It's also, it is a, it a, a slightly opaque or clearer fuel tank, so you can see when you're filling it up. Uh, if it's, uh, you can kind of see through it, but I'd like the, a more visible fueling window. That would be kind of nice on it. This is their first model of this they've ever produced, by the way. So for their first run out the box, it's a pretty good deal. So uh, their big Arbor bolt is cool. I like that because that thing's just a, a big three quarter inch bolt. And uh, that thing's nice to swap blades out, stuff like that. That's pretty cool. Something else I wish this saw had, like the K760 saws, it has a place to store tool, like your, your changing and your, your repair tool on it. Um, which is like a little little uh, sleeve or compartment down there. That would be pretty handy I'd all I'd love to see on any of the brands for that matter I'd love to see almost like a little storage compartment on these things I don't know how that's possible let the engineers worry about that but a place to maybe keep an extra arbor ring um, And your and your changer tool for swapping out blades and stuff like that or making any adjustments to the saw you need to Pull out your air filter stuff like that. So uh, I would like to see that on these if that's somehow at all possible if nothing else a place to tuck that tool would be very handy uh, so you're not having to try to keep, you know, keep your, your specialty tool somewhere on the truck that everybody knows. That was just always with the tool. That'd be handy. Or with the saw, I mean. One of the things I'm not used to with it, although I eventually got used to it, was this thing seems to have a shorter chassis or a shorter uh, frame than, like, the K760 that I'm very used to. So when we were doing initial score cuts and stuff, it feels, it feels a little uh, squirrely kind of because the, the back end's not as long and so I don't feel like I've got an, as much control over it as I'm used to with the K760s but uh, buddies of mine have uh, the steels and they swear by the steels and they're short coupled like that and I'm not a big fan of those either but to each their own um, with that said I think that's mostly the main points of this thing um, so the real the real deal of it is I, it's a good saw I don't know that it's great nothing about it is like just again earth shattering to me it's like holy mackerel this thing's incredible it's just a good concrete saw nothing really major to write home about um so if you're already an echo guy and you want to keep echo stuff in your fleet this would be a, i think a great saw for you but if you're already um you know running a fleet of steels or, ec or uh, husks or whatever i don't know that it stands out enough that you should jump uh you know product line just on one tool unless you're going all to echo stuff which we like to try to use all one brand or the other right now we run a lot of husqvarna stuff because we have a dealer like two miles from our house but um, again, long story short, good saw. It could be great, but it's just nothing. Um, it might be great to some folks. It's just a it's just a regular concrete saw to us. At the end of the day, there's there's nothing super stand out about it. But good reliable uh, machine, I do believe. Um, but that's pretty much it at the end of the day. So uh, we'll keep. And we're, again, we're only probably what I say five to seven hundred foot in linear footing, linear foot of cut through six inches of asphalt and concrete. Um, we'll give this thing through the spring when we can really put it through our paces and we'll have another update on it here uh, in three or four months.